Today and yesterday I spoke about the nose. You know, the nose is really a bit of a mysterious box for many people and making an accurate diagnosis between what is a disorder of the nasal airway and what is sinus dysfunction is so critical to getting subsequent treatment right. This is one of the major focuses that I had on my session today. I think the three take-home messages for me when it comes to managing upper airway disease is that the right diagnosis is made. All too many times people believe they have sinus disease when it is simply just a reaction of the nasal airway such as rhinitis. The second thing I think is that rhinitis really requires multi-modalities in approach. There's no one treatment that will give success but using a combination of treatments is very successful at getting disease under control. And thirdly, managing inflammatory sinus disease has really evolved enormously over the past five years. The combination of surgery and corticosteroid irrigations has really revolutionized the way that these people manage their condition now. So for me, I think there are some really exciting things coming up. Uh, immunotherapy for allergic diseases is something that is really going to become a GP-based intervention in the years to come. Uh, the advent and development of oral dust mite tablets, uh, other new novel topical treatments really means that the general practitioners are going to be at the forefront of managing allergic rhinitis. And for sinus disease, the way in which we manage patients using surgery and a combination of local topical irrigation solutions has really changed the way that these patients can manage their disease.